Part two, mount and aim. This is part two of our three part series where we will mount and aim two CPE 710 TP-Link wireless dishes at each other. We've got our locations all marked out and we need to figure out how we're gonna mount and aim these devices. Okay, here we are at location A. We've already got a rack miner up on the roof and we're gonna use that same pole to point up to the B location at the house. It's up there on the hill. Okay, here we are on the roof looking at the location, scouting it out. Somewhere up there is our B location. Okay, here we are on the roof at the house. This is our B location. Um, somewhere down there is our office. And now we got to figure out how we're going to aim these antennas together. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to try to figure out the bearing of which way to point these antennas to get them close. So if you know anything about Google Maps or most of the mapping programs online, the top is north and the bottom is south. So we can calculate that bearing. So what I like to do is in this case, this, this uh, endpoint here is pretty much on the center of the, of the paper. So what we can do is we can fold this paper in half, get it all lined up on the corners. And now we have a, a nice north-south line that we can use as a point to line up. And then if we line the lines here up on that and try to get that center point, we can calculate the degrees from north. In this case, it's 46 degrees. So that should be our bearing from this location. So that would be all fine and good, except if we're using a compass, the magnetic declination of the area has to be taken in consideration. So in our location, we'll look it up by zip code and it comes out to be 13.2 degrees east. The magnetic north is gonna be pointing over here. So we gotta take that into consideration for our 46 degrees. When we, when we go up on the roof, we got, we'll, we'll take account for that. So the bearing that we will shoot for to go this direction will be 46 minus the 13.2. 33 degrees. When we go up there, we'll point that antenna at 33 degrees and we'll use our compass, put this at 33. And then if we want to go the other direction, 217. 217 about. This will just get us close and we can use the, the app tuning mechanism to get better than that. But this, this is good because you can shoot five kilometers, 10 kilometers and not be able to really see the endpoints and you'll get very close. A lot of times out of the box, setting it up this way, you'll be in good shape and have a great signal and just have to barely adjust. So we're ready. We'll get the dish and we'll uh, go up onto the roof. Okay, we got up here to the roof, got that ground wire. We feed that up, we'll run that just like here up to the antenna. We'll mount the dish underneath. Okay, we got the ethernet plugged in cover on and now we're going to tighten this up and then slide it up and get it pointed. We're pointing at 33 degrees. That's where we set the antenna. Right at 33 degrees. Looks like it's pretty damn, pretty damn close. As far, far as I can tell, it's dead nuts on. Okay. So I originally hooked it up with this uh, cord that's been here from an old wireless ISP days, but I put the grounded ethernet shielded cable on the phone room. I need to put an extra mount here. It used to be two mounts for this pole. I just temporarily used it. We set this up, pointing back down there. And what we do is we want to shoot that bearing, right? So. I flipped it around, it was 33 degrees at the other side, so I just swapped the, the needle around. And that's where I pointed it down to our location, our B location at the office. And that's pretty well, pretty well right on there. And that's how we uh, aim these antennas with the compass bearings. It's pretty simple, you can't really see the other side. It's probably 99% accurate and you can adjust it 
with the online tools of the radio if you want to get better than this. But I use this to go six kilometers downtown and you could definitely not see both endpoints and it worked really well. I looked it up and it was actually five kilometers that we shot downtown in the early 90s using the same compass method. I'm not going to bore you with all the gory details of hooking the ethernets into the power injectors and your router and your switches, but we'll cover a lot of this in the next episode when we do the software configuration. I hope you found this information helpful. Please subscribe if you do. We've got much more information to share. Join us for the last part of this video series where we'll get the software all configured and routing packets in between the two locations.